vlogging today, dude. It's a rest day, so fuck it. Why not vlog? We're starting our day off with California Cold Co. I honestly, I don't go to coffee shops, but Grant's fiance works at one, and we're gonna pay her a visit, and we're gonna try some coffee. So, pretty damn good. You think it'll be good? Yeah, especially with it. Wow. That's a different flavor. This is really good. <laughs> wow, yeah. How do they get, it's a, it's a coffee bean. I don't, honestly, dude, I, <laughs> I don't know. Coffee, I used to have the instant grounds. My mom used to make me for <laughs> breakfast. That's coffee to me, it's great, it's coffee. So I am curious what this overpriced coffee is gonna taste like. Oh, there she is. Where? She's like dead center. I wish you guys could smell this. This smells insane. A fruity pebble candle, hand poured in New Jersey, vegan and non-toxic. I want a cold brew. And I'm gonna take cold brew too. What do you think? Large? I'll get the Laguna, large. Okay. And I'll take two pumps of each, a lot. Of caramel and vanilla? Do you think it'll be good? Yeah, especially in a large. Two pumps of each and two stevias. Two pumps of each? Yep. I'll get the same. Mm -hmm. Grant, what'd you like? Dude, this is nice. I've never been to like a just coffee shop to like chill. Really? No, dude, because I'm like, I'm like, why am I paying? Like, it's a lot of money That's for true. coffee. Yeah. The weather just got nice out in Jersey. It's 70 something degrees, wearing a hoodie. <laughs> but it feels good to just like be outside. I'm just the type that like, I'd rather just get a coffee and go sit on the couch. That's, That's true. You. you look yeah. very beautiful today. Thank Can you, you show off your outfit? Can you give a little spin for all the male viewers? <laughs> yeah. The females too, where, where'd you get it? Or is it an Amazon dupe? Amazon. Not bad though. Hey, you can make an Amazon influencer thing and you can make commission off that if you want. Oh yeah, your Amazon page. Clothing company I work with. Wow. That's a different flavor. This is really good. <laughs> wow, yeah. How do they get, it's a, it's a coffee bean. Yeah, Damn. your legs are shredded still, you just competed. <laughs> Why was that even a comment you had to say? This coffee was good. Yeah, bro, you sucked it down. What was more expensive, this or um, Starbs? This. Mm, I'm kind of pissed it's done. Come on. <laughs> you, what? what was that, you're gonna ask? <laughs> well, I was drinking it, but breathing, so I was like, there's nothing much left, right? So, when I breathed through my nose at the same time, then the coffee went into my nose, <laughs> choke. All right. Do you want mine? No, you can have it, bro, you enjoy, you enjoy. We're gonna go grocery shopping today. We're gonna to show you how Anthony Mantello grocery shops. And guess what? It's just like all of you guys, the same exact way. But you guys wanna watch it for some reason, so I'll show you. <laughs> I'll literally show you. Gotta document every time you can. I know, right? That's, that, that, that's, that's why I won't let go. I'm like, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> if I let go, I might not get another hug for another six weeks. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, I can't help it. I'm, I'm not very lovey when I'm in prep. I know. <laughs> but the moments that they are, they're very special. Yeah. That is true. Sorry guys. <laughs> so much PDA. But I, I don't give I don't give a fuck. When we first started dating, oh big PDA. Big Holy PDA. shit. Right now people would be like, two divorce. <laughs> We're street shopping for me and my cats. My cats get the protein mix in salmon recipe. Sixteen dollars. I love them. It is true. Some people like like I, I, I'm treating my cats like if they were my real kids. I want to give them good stuff. Yeah. You know, some people then I mean, however you want to raise it, you raise your animal, but some people just want to give them or whatever, give them which is fine. That has wood chips in it. Yeah, no, no soy. Give them salmon. Ooh, bone broth. <laughs> give them the holistic route. <laughs> Dude, imagine like you actually took your your animal. You're like, I just thought about it. Like, they just the music's so loud. I'll talk after. So I had a thought in there. Dude, why don't we like put our cats on a bodybuilding diet? <laughs> like extra protein, two hours. Every two hours, we make them run. Like we play with them for a good, I don't know, hour. They run, they climb, they go crazy. And then protein. And then make sure they sleep at night. I, I want to see the size difference they have. I want to start playing I think they would them. hit kidney failure before the size difference, bro. Oh my God, look, the first date couple. They're, they're talking. It's like they're hitting it off. <laughs> when we were chilling. Did we get it on video? They, we might no, have. I, no. We definitely, we, we saw people go on their first date at the, the California probably. Cold Co. place. Guy was waiting there. He got there early, bro. He was chilling. Pretty girl walks in. He's like, "Hi, and nice to meet you. I'm blah blah blah. Hi." Uh, a little nervous. They open the door, kind of hit each other. They go in. They get the coffee. They're sitting at where we were sitting, and they're they're into it. Good. I hope it goes well. Hope it goes well for them. 
Well, we hope you great relationship and a great success and a great future together. And the last time I was with you at a Whole Foods was in LA. Really? I think I remember. It was the first. It was the first grocery trip we took when we got there. Holy shit! What's going on? I know. I've been to this one, but I'm just reminiscing on the Whole Foods in LA. Just been. I went there with Dave once, and I just remember like the the time being when we were in LA. Just so because we didn't have a car, dude. So we'd go grocery shopping, call an Uber, <laughs> sit outside with like you know seven bags of groceries, and occasionally a beta fish. That was funny, dude. Benji. Benji. That is a really good photo. Show the camera. Do it on the side try. Yeah. Let's clean. You're only going to get fucking leaner than that, bro. Yeah, it's only going to get better. I'm excited to see what Kyle has in store for us. I want, I want to make that video the game plan video, but I just don't know what the game plan is yet. He's got to be... We got to get him, like, come, like, to come over. We got to get Kyle over, dude. Or we can go over his new crib. Yeah. Either or. That'd be sweet. I'm sure people miss Kyle. We see it in the comment section. Like, dude, where's Kyle been? And we already addressed it. He's been busy. He got a new house, renovating like crazy. So that's awesome, bro. Like, that's a huge accomplishment. Kyle's 31. So like, he's getting to the age now where like marriage, kids, forever home comes into play and he's renovating. So that's sick, dude. Like, I'm excited for Kyle. I'm excited to Experience. like that. That's dude. Cause like when I think about my family home, beautiful. it does look beautiful. The thing about how nostalgic your family home is, like you just like you're when he has He's kids. He's building that right now. I know. That's why it's so awesome for him. I'm excited for him. It's really cool. Really fucking. Do you imagine cool. Kyle as dad? <sighs> I can't yet. I can't. Yeah. It's great. Imagine like all of us as parents, one day. I can picture. I, I can picture me as a mom. Yeah, I'm, yeah, because you want to be. I want to be a dad too. But like right now, yeah. I can't picture myself as a parent at this moment. Really? What age do you want kids, Grant? Twenty-eight. Oh no no like thirty actually. I was like, Grant, that's five years. Like, yeah, like, that's that's close. Kind of, like fairly close for you. Yeah, dude. Seven oh years. shit. Yeah, she she asked if we wanted to go out. Oh yeah, to Edison. To Edison, it's it's a training day for us. I don't yeah. have work, but that's at night. Fine. Yeah, you'll you're gonna see a lot of Asians. Dude, I love them. I, I don't. Them. <laughs> Why, Grant? <laughs> <laughs> What's in Edison? Uh, Asian market, she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I didn't even realize that I said that. And I I'll bring my fish. You know yeah. what I got? I posted on my Instagram story once, and I'll even I'll throw in the link down below because this is actually really helpful for bodybuilders. What it is, Ali got it for me for Valentine's Day. Oh, it it's a lunchbox that heats up your food. You can plug it into an outlet or the car port. Mm -hmm really convenient and it's like the it's metal so you can't put it in the microwave but you can put your food in there you plug it in dude 15 minutes your food's like it just got microwave for a good minute and a half two minutes that's better than a microwave though. yeah because it's yeah it's, it's awesome yeah. people thought i smoked cigarettes they're like is that a joint or yeah a dude cigarette? people like, are so I'm dumb smoking cigarettes <laughs> people are shit <laughs> damn ripping darts fucking <laughs> imagine before <laughs> Cause it was in the show day, imagine yeah. the night before a show, stressing out, like <laughs> ripping through a pack, pack on show day. Yeah, dude, people oh, are crazy. Yeah, no, I, I do enjoy marijuana, I will say. I'm trying to figure out, kind of, okay, you know what, I'm going to go like this. Oh, hey, I saw you there, kind of. Really contemplating. Like, it does look really good, but geez, Grant, you know, this is, enjoy, bro. This is that not looks for awesome. me right now. This is not like, but bro, where's the protein? Like, they got chicken fingers. What's that? Oh, blackened fish. Oh, it's tilapia. It's oh, tilapia. just what I'm about to buy. The chicken tenders. Those are chicken tenders. I wish I had post show. Yeah, dude, those look. Those look awesome. That's all, that's all they got. For protein. I'm jealous of that mac and cheese. Those look banging. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy everything. Yes. Do you get two? You gotta enjoy that with a nice bit of ketchup. Oh, Do you like dude, ketchup? Love ketchup. Fuck yes. Oh, dude, this is a long boy. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, man. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. Well, time to get time to get huge. <laughs> so I finished grocery shopping. We ended up having to come back home from with hanging out Grant. We ate and then went out to the store. Luckily, I didn't have to go to shop right. I just went to Sam's Club because they had tilapia there, and I was doing some research. Because tilapia is a farm fish, and I mean, it's a farm fish. It's kind of shitty to begin with, so I was like, fuck it. I just got it from there. It's a little bit cheaper. But they just say don't get tilapia from China, and this one's from Brazil. So 
Hope it's good. Let me show you what I got. It's already kind of half put away. But what do we get? We got... God. I hope this is okay. Grant might be cringing right now. Maybe it's just the F2.8. I don't know, bro. I got one, two, I got six and a half pounds of tilapia. That's salmon. We got some eggs. We got avocados. Um, asparagus. We got a lot of asparagus, actually. It's the main vegetable of choice. We ended up getting, we do simple seasonings right now. We have salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Ooh. We got yams, Michelle Obama's favorite food, if you guys didn't know. I think that's literally it. We didn't really we didn't get anything much because it's simple stuff. What's cool about being in tune with your body and like being in a sensitive state is you can feel the difference type, type of foods react to you. Um, I was having a little bit of green beans the other day and I had it for a couple of my meals. I think for the whole day I had green beans and have asparagus. And I actually didn't use the bathroom the next day. Compared to when I eat asparagus, I use the bathroom every day pretty consistently. So asparagus is the main choice. How are you? Come on. You doing good? Energy. You're in, the, you're in a good mood? Yeah, we're chilling. How do you feel? I feel amazing, bro. What amazing. are you doing today? Back. Trying to build it back, huh? Lower back, some erectors. Bro, I found a secret today. What are you doing? I just need to activate my hamstrings and glutes in it. My back looks a shit ton better. Can I show you real quick? Yeah. It's actually high energy. He's excited. I see that. It's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Fans are they're missing Sir Kyle. He never wants to train. He's not ready. I haven't been to the gym in three weeks. Squeeze my glutes a bit so they just look too far out. I think it's gonna look really you said good. That's a mirror. I did not. Don't get hurt. Yes, sir. And that's it. You started with directors. Yes, sir. I think the barbell is always like a good variation. All right, bro. We'll get back after you. Killed, All right, bro. you go, buddy. to get massive fucking arms for this next show. Start training arms six times a week. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to focus more on them so hopefully they they get a little bit better, a little bit bigger. Chest I know has got to get up. <laughs> I'm trying to guys. I have a new game plan, new attack strategy in this iron gym. Got a new attack strategy, so hopefully it goes well. You gotta believe and it'll, it'll work. Manifest. That's it, manifest it.
This isn't the coach game plan, but this is my training game plan right now. So on stage, I saw weak points and I saw strong points in my physique. I think my legs, I got the training down pretty well. I can do some posing critiques myself. I'm gonna go over to my posing coach to enhance and get better within the poses. But body parts need to bring up. That's on me in the gym with my training. So the body parts I wanna bring up, my biceps and the fullness of my chest. We knew this. So chest now, I'm gonna take the approach of doing exercises I really didn't do. I'm gonna do some push-ups. Honestly, maybe four times a week. Because right now I have this fullness that I've never really felt before, especially all over my chest. So I'm gonna do this on my chest days and I'll find two more days within this week to hit that. And then also in the one video I saw, I did Smith Barbell and that felt amazing too, which is a press, kind of like a push-up you think about. It's like a push-up with weight that you're pushing you know, away from you. So I'm hoping with these next six weeks, this new stimulus, just maybe my muscle connection, whatever it is, fills out my chest and it just looks better. And I wanna hit traps more too, because I feel like when you have big biceps, traps, and a chest, you look huskier, you look more manly. <laughs> and I'm like a kid with some nice lines. If I could add some huskiness to me on stage, I'm telling you, I think it'd look really good. So that's what I'm envisioning to build right now these next six weeks. And I hope it comes into play, you know? So that's my own game plan and that's my mind. So thanks for taking a look inside of my mind. All right, we're gonna see. So I found this on my own, right? I sent it to my posing coach. I was like, hey man, I think I can do a little bit different posing here. And it'll enhance my physique. So we're gonna put it to the test. Fucking hell. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> see, if I get a bigger chest and biceps and traps, I feel like I look like this. Like, you know, guys like hang out like this. Yeah. Instead of me like, other Anthony we know. So here's how I was hitting before, right? I'd be like hamstring locked, this leg, hamstring locked, back, open oh, like this. Now I wanna do this. Wow. The glute's going! Yeah, but you don't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, keep them honest, Alex. That's right here. Glute, 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 glute. I am, glute, glute. <sighs> okay, so now the portion of the video you guys all clicked for the title. Gaining and losing 10 pounds in two days. So we're gonna put the side by side of every single mandatory pose I had to do for classic physique and my check-ins and show you the difference of before I gain the 10 pounds, gaining the 10 pounds, and then losing the 10 pounds. So first up, what we have here is the front relaxed pose. On the left, you have before right around 200 pounds, the middle 210, and then right back down to 200 pounds. So the first photo, pretty crisp. I mean, we look good, we're depleted. Um, and then you could see what the fuck happened in the middle. Um, I just look a little bit off. There's something weird, and what it is, is that's water covering everything. There's water between my muscles and the skin. I didn't really gain fat in two days. That's not gonna happen. It's just a bunch of water weight that your body absorbs when you go from extreme dieting to eating a bunch of food. And then, luckily, I'm able to be strong enough to uh, lose the weight, and I lost it in two days, so that was pretty fortunate. So that is the front relax pose. Now this one's extreme. We have the um, rear relax, it's called. Now in this pose, if you look at my hamstrings, you can see a big difference, especially in the middle to either the right or the left. Um, I lose all my definition when I gain weight. It holds in my hamstrings and glutes. So that's just something cool to know about my own physique. But yeah, take a good look at these photos and you can really see the, uh, the water weight just holding on into my glutes and hamstrings. All right, now we have a side relax here, this pose. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. That middle photo compared to the others, it don't look too bad at all. So that's cool, you just, you know, you know I don't hold water in my obliques or my abs. I hold it in my face, you can see that there. You can see my face, it looks closed. Um, that's because there's like water in my cheeks and my eyes are like puffy and shit like that. All right, the front double. So yes, I'm hitting the pose a little bit differently, that's just because I experiment with poses. But left, so once again, it's always the same date. Middle, gaining the 10 pounds, right, losing it. It's crazy looking at the photos how when I gain the 10 pounds, I look smaller compared to when I was actually lighter by 10 pounds. So interesting how the body works. <laughs> Side chest. 
So this one we have two cat cameos. We have Mac on the 200 before I gained the weight. We have Jade when I gained the 10 pounds and then no cat in the other one. So honestly, I'm hitting the pose a bit differently on day two. So the one where I lost all the weight. And I think it's my favorite look of how I'm hitting the pose too. I'm actually scrunched down and turned more instead of being more upright. I think my chest just looks better within this pose. So that's something I'm going to use for max competition is this pose. But yeah, here you can see the same thing. When I gain the 10 pounds, my glutes, they're not as sharp. My legs, not as sharp. Um, face, look at the face there. <laughs> it's a little bit puffy. All right, the back double bicep. So this pose is another great pose to show the weight gain difference. The left here, it's sharp. We got hamstrings, we have glute striations, the back's detailed, everything looks nice. Now, the middle one, as I said, I gain all the weight in my hamstrings and glutes. The back, you can see it's a little bit not as detailed, but honestly, it ain't too bad. Now the right, this is another experiment of my posing. So if you compare these, you can see my back looks a lot thicker within this pose. Now I have an anterior pelvic tilt, which means my ass is basically sticking out, but it makes my legs look a lot better. So for sure, I don't have, look at the, look at that one, right? I don't have hamstring lines. My glutes aren't shredded, they're not striated, but my legs look a lot better. So you kind of get um, a trade-off there, all right? My legs look bigger and fuller, have more of a classic look, but I don't have that like deep cuts. But I'm sure when I deplete again and be able to work on this pose to get the activation of my hamstrings and glutes, I will have some striations there and some deep cuts. So that's just something cool I found within myself and to have a better back to a bicep pose and uh, something we do in the next competition in five weeks. The good old ab and thigh, the one that shows it all. So once again here, you can see I will be holding water into my abs. It made the pose look not as sharp, not as big. Overall, it's not a good pose looking when you gain that weight. And that is pretty, oh, almost it. Even my legs too, look at the legs. So my legs, when I'm fully depleted, they look sharp. I, um, I have more lines. If you look towards my hips, I have my sartorius coming in. I have all the lines of the teardrop, you know, my outer quad sweep looks good. I gain the water weight and then bam, they kind of get faded. And then honestly, in this pose, I could have not been activating them, but after, you know, I lost the 10 pounds, they don't look as sharp. I don't know. I don't know what that is. And then we have just the last side quarter turn. Almost forgot the bodybuilding pose there. But yeah, you can see the difference here, especially in my midsection. It's blurred. It's puffy. It's not sharp. Even the chest striations are not too sharp there. And that's just the comparisons now of gaining the 10 pounds in two days and losing it. So it was good I was able to get back on track. I knew I was going to be able to. I don't regret eating all that food one bit because look where I'm at. You know, you got five weeks left. I thought it'd be cool to come on here and share and be like, yo, look at this. Because some people gain the weight and they can't lose it. Like I did back when I was 17. I gained 25 pounds in three days. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next Roto Pro.